Hello everyone. Today my topic is coupling constants. It is a subtopic in NMR that is nuclear magnetic resonance. Here when molecules with magnetic nuclei are placed in powerful magnetic field, different energy states are created. See here, if a um, powerful magnetic field is brought, this diff different energy states have been created. This has taken up the upper spin. It has taken up the lower spin. So these, these kind uh, of uh, spins, these are detected by absorption of light. Light of their own appropriate energy. Okay. In absence of these magnetic field, different states of energy will remain the same. Here, due to the magnetic field, they take up different energy levels. They may go up or they may go down. So then, what are coupling constants? We have all, uh, usually seen this kind of graph. Now, here, the spacing between the lines in this NMR multiplet, this gives a valuable information about the relative positions of the interacting nuclei. Now, this spacing, like this multiplet, after some space, here, over here, you will be able to see another multiplet. It may be a triplet or it may be a quartet. So, this spacing is known as coupling constant. It is designated as J. It is measured in hertz. By convention, superscript before the symbol J represents the number of intervening bonds between the coupling nuclei. So, uh, how do we label it? Uh, it is indicated like before the symbol, we write it J3, A, B is equal to 2.7 hertz. That when we write like this, J3, A, B, it represents a coupling of 2.7 hertz between nuclei A and B which are separated by three intervening bonds that is vicinal coupling. This vicinal coupling constant decreases with increasing distance between the interacting nuclei. 